All right, hey everybody, this is Mark with TrekOregon.com. We just made our way down through the entry trail at Elk Rock Island, and everything looked great. It's a wonderful hike. Uh, we did see a few uh, danger keep out barriers because there was uh, a fire here last week. So as we make our way to the island, you can see that the water's low enough this time of year. We're able to walk out there. For about four months of the year, uh, the water's too high, and, and the only way to get out here is with a boat. But in the summertime and the surrounding months, it's pretty easy to get there. Now, it's really sad that we heard of this, this island caught fire. It's one of our favorite places to hike. It's a wonderful piece of completely untouched forest right in the middle of Milwaukee, in the middle of the county. And uh, for those that are unaware, Elk Rock Island is a small island in the town of Milwaukee, just off the neighborhood of Island Station. So here we are. And yeah, looks like the entire, where are we looking? The entire southeastern half of the island is completely burnt. Not completely, actually. It just looks like the, the trees on the outside or the perimeter. But they definitely got scorched. So it starts right over here, coming around. Oh, wow. Hang on a second. Looks like right up this. Wow. So normally this entire section is beautiful lush green grass. Like what you see off in the distance there. That's all new growth, I think. And it's obvious that this entire area had caught in fire. And there's just nothing left. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is very different from how it normally looks. This is one of our favorite places to come hiking. And it is usually just uh, overgrown with beautiful trees and plants like I was saying this was never uh, placed here by man no landscapers came in and put this here this, this is one of our few completely untouched uh, forests or sections here in, in the city yeah that is completely burned Here a little more. You know, as we're making our way through here, we want to be very aware and cautious of uh, the new growth and plants' effort to regrow as soon as they can. Don't want to add to any erosion. I think the effort from the firefighters actually did, it wasn't just from the boats, they do have a, a couple firefighting boats that make their way up for fires like this, but they also ran hoses all the way down here and were fighting it from the land as well. Wow. Well, I think tomorrow we're going to spend a little more time here and check out the interior sections of the island. I was told that uh, right around a quarter of the island total had been burned. 
and definitely the entire uh, southeastern sections. This right here is not too bad. You can see fire just touched some of these trees. And as devastating as all this looks, it actually appears that almost, almost all the trees are still alive. And the ones that are on the ground burnt uh, were actually already burnt before the fire. So that's good news. I heard that right around 95% of trees, or pine trees anyway, actually survive forest fires. And they shed the burnt bark and grow on for many more years. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Again, this is MarketTrekOregon.com. We will uh, keep bringing you guys more and more footage and information on different treks and outdoors, outdoor things here in Oregon. And we will see you next time. Bye.